This is my Samsung A7, and today I'll be talking about moving your apps to external. Uh, they they introduced this feature recently through a software update on this uh, Samsung A7. The problem is that it doesn't move all the files over. It just moves the application itself, not any of the cache folders. So I'm going to show you what happens when I try this out. So I'm gonna go over here to uh, battery and device care and then go into storage and show you what it is before right now. So right now under internal, it's at 15.42 and SD card is 342. And under apps right now, it's set to 4.17 gigabytes. So it's pretty big. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm going to go and transfer one of these apps over. So remember, this was at 342 and the internal was 15.42. So I'm going to go into uh, settings again. And instead, I'm going to go into apps over here. And Baby Panda World's a gigabyte. And under storage. You can see over here the app itself is only 175 megabytes and the cache and the data so this data folder doesn't get copied over or moved over when I move it to external SD so I have 860 megabytes so let me go and change that and move it to SD card and move it's gonna take a like 20 seconds or something or 10 seconds and you'll see that instead of one gigabyte being transferred over, only the app application size itself, 100 something megabytes, is transferred over. So I hope they fix this, but I'll check on Google to see if anyone smart on Android developers has figured a, a way to fix this. Uh, so I go back into settings and I'm going to go into the device care, battery and device care over here. And go into storage and you'll see now the SD card is back a little bit bigger and the internal storage didn't even change that much I'm not sure if it's because it just didn't update or something but that's that's the issue here I think If I go into apps, Baby Panda World, it shows that my storage is using external storage. But that, so far, all I know is the apps part has been transferred over, but the data hasn't. And so I forgot it's at what? Make sure I go back into settings. I'm going to go back to storage device. And still it says 4.17 over here and 15.4. Let's see what happens when I sh switch it back over. So again, it doesn't properly move over everything. I'm sure if you uh, root your device and install apps to SD, it would properly do it. But of course, you might void your warranty. So I'll go back to battery device care and storage. And you can see over here under SD card, it's no longer 400. And over here, the internal storage has increased from 14.42 to 14.53. And the app size has increased by 300 megabytes. So something wonky is going on. It doesn't really work just right. So unfortunately, it looks like uh, Samsung needs to fix this. So 
and I'll try following around with this again, but it doesn't seem to be transferring over the things the way that you expect it to. So at the very least, it seems like it's only trying to transfer over uh, the app itself. So in this case, In this case, it's only transferring the app, which is 206 megabytes, and somehow it increased now to 206. So I don't think this thing is working very well. It's suddenly increasing the app size and other things. Um, so I'm not sure what to say other than it doesn't work too well. Watch be change between SD card. It's like they didn't know what they're doing. And I, it's weird that in settings it crashes for some reason. Now set to external. If I go back to battery device care and go to storage. SD card, but you can see my app size seems to be increasing. It used to be 4.17. So I'm gonna try this one more time and I'm gonna switch it over and finally see what happens. This is totally wonky. It means it might be putting a lot more storage into my tablet and not removing it properly. So I'm gonna go back here. And you can see it's slowly increasing the app size. So it's not doing a good job of deleting anything. So sorry guys. This feature, I don't know, it's not exactly right. 